going on guys, Sergeant's Tech Tips, welcome to another video on my channel. Now in today's video we're going to be taking apart an HP Pavilion DM4. The model number is going to be DM4-1065DX if you guys are curious. So I'm going to be showing you how to just take off the bottom panels, uh, take out the battery, all that fun stuff. That way you can replace the battery, replace the RAM, replace the SSD. If you guys want to see a full disassembly where I literally tear apart the entire laptop, so you got to repair a screen or, I don't know, a palm rest or something, I could easily do that. Just let me know in the comments below. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and flip the laptop over. You've got two panels here. I'm going to assume RAM's under here and drive's under here. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the battery. And then you're going to have two screws. You're going to have one here and one here. They are going to be Phillips. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. Preferably something small so you don't strip the screws. I'm using my trusty iFixit kit here. Then all you have to do is unscrew. I don't think these screws come out, so they're just going to be capped, which means... That's better for us because then we don't have to worry about them coming out. Once you get the screws out, you can go ahead and play, lay the laptop back down, slide up, and pull up. Then all you got to do is put this off to the side. Obviously, you can tell your RAM is going to be right here, which we do have some RAM in there. Um, and then you're going to have two more screws right here to remove this area for the looks to be the SSD, the keyboard screw. That way you can remove the keyboard as well as, well, not the SSD, but a drive, a hard drive, whatever's in here at the time. And I believe you can just, once you pull those screws out, or, well, don't pull them out because they're capped, but once you unscrew them, you should be able to pull right off, and you got your drive. So to remove the drive, I think you just pull up. Yeah, you just pull right up. You don't even have to unscrew anything. So then you can remove the cable, and then you can unscrew these four screws on each side, and then boom, your hard drive's out, and then you can replace it with a solid state. And then as far as RAM goes, you will have to kind of pick up this heat shield a little bit, or this little plastic shield. Obviously, pull the RAM back to get in there, and then you can pull out, which it looks like there's four gigs of RAM in here. When replacing the RAM, be sure to confirm that the RAM speeds and timings are all the same. Otherwise, usually the RAM just won't really like the laptop any. Yeah, there's two gigs. So it's going to be PC3, not PC3L, two gig, two, 2R by 8, and you got 10600S, which is what this stick is, so they both match. I would highly recommend replacing them with similar. It doesn't have to be Samsung brand. It can be any brand. Just make sure the 10600S and the, uh, the PC3 matches. That's all you got to do. So to put it back together, you just repeat the process. Now with this, you got to be careful because you need to make sure all of the uh, tabs go into place. They're kind of a pain, but all you got to do is pull back and then push in, and then you're basically good. All you got to do is screw back in. Once you're done, you can take the other panel, slide this in. And then this will slide down as you screw it in. So you gotta do is screw it back on. And then you can go ahead and replace the battery, and you're all set. Now I don't, I can't really test the computer right now because I don't actually think it works. But uh, this is just basically an educational video that way you guys can figure out how to replace stuff. Um, in terms of taking the entire laptop apart, uh, all you really have to do is do what I did, and then just take all the screws out, find the keyboard screw, pull the keyboard screw out. Um, pull the keyboard out after you pull that screw out and then under here should be some screws pull those out And you should be able to basically disassemble the entire laptop Like I said if you want to see a video on me disassembling the entire laptop Let me know and I can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching This is a video on how to disassemble the HP Pavilion DM4 again model number is going to be DM4 1056 Sorry 1065 DX if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you guys did not enjoy this video drop a dislike subscribe to the channel If you guys are new and you have not done so already I hope you guys enjoy these disassembly videos as much as I do making them. See you guys next video and peace out.